Library of our Ajdad live. Revive the memories of your ancestors. Connect to the roots through remembering and telling stories, true stories that happened very closely. It has happened. How can you forget it? What has happened? Do you have a memory problem? Short term memory? Uh, probably, especially in the age of distraction. I am very busy online. I have no idea about the background, who I am. Who am I? That will be the question. Creative acts of intelligence. Who am I? Both genetically and genesisly. You know, where are you coming from? Chapter 27, presented to you on Amunji strategy at Meiji TV. A mourner, Khawali Chief Secretary Khodiga Ishq Shazbain Rafta, Khatuni Nazinin Ji Fawt Kida, Tamam Roz Borda Gohristan, Unji Fatiha Bi Khan, Usam Biya Ghamza Dada Khan, Unji Najor. That is the situation. Three months passed, the Chief Secretary never missed a day at Darbar. After the first customary ways of mourning, but he was no longer the life and center of the court. As Darbar Manda, his business done, he went home. 
the Kaskarnadara. What is the matter with you? The Amir asked him kindly one day. You look to me thin and bloodless. Are you ill? Majuraste, Bechemitar, Bejan Madam Mashi. I'm not very well, he said. I think I would like to go to India and pay a visit to my mother. Um, oh, nonsense, the Emir replied, sufficiently hastily to show that the suggestion did not please him. We shall see what we can do for you here. You are not a child that you must go home to your mother. You are sick. What you need is a tonic. Where is the Hakim? Send for him. Someone. I shall prescribe for you myself. And a most costly medicine. Girana Master. But what is cost when a valuable official's health has to be preserved? Ikhadar Gran Baha Darbari Sihadazura Mubayat Khiri Danazar Dashtawashim. The Chief Secretary brightened up. His master's solicitude cheered and comforted him. He placed his right hand over his heart and bowed profoundly. May God preserve your majesty. Bring some of that tonic paste I ordered you to make a little while ago, the Emir said later on to the Hakim when he came in to answer the summons. That with frankincense and rubies and pearls in it. Lalu Jawahiram Manezu Baidwasha. Then turning to his secretary, he went on The rubies are to lighten and strengthen your brain and heart. The frankincense will clear your blood, Hundursafna, and the pearls will produce a gentle sense of well being. But besides these, there are other ingredients which all tend to produce the same result. A wonderful pick me up, you will find it. You must take some night and morning, and you will soon feel a different creature. This apathy has nothing to do with the uh, health, a handsome, mischievous boy remarked gaily. The silly fellow is heart sick. Your Majesty. Heart sick? What has he to make him heart sick? He's not in love, is he? He is, though, Your Majesty, and in love in the most hopeless way. He is in love with a dead woman. The Amir looked up quickly. What does that mean? he asked. The Chief Secretary stood leaning on a stick wearily, but said nothing. He is spending all his spare time in tombs, Your Majesty. You should prohibit it, said another, laughing. Wah, wah, the Amir murmured, how is this? Speak up, man. Chigaba. The older courtier and kinder, the royal cupbearer who was standing near, whispered in his master's ear, He lost his wife three months ago, Your Majesty, and has never been the same since. Ah, said the Emir, so did he. I had forgotten. That is no reason why he should be weeping still. Another of the pages remarked, What would you, Your Majesty, do if every man who lost a wife were to mourn her three months? 
جناب یه رقم خوب از قانون جور نشنه که هر نفر که زن چی فوت کرد با زو سیما باید ازا بگره A fine thing that would be for the man who had a hundred wives او که اگز از صد دو صد سی صد خاتو درخ و ازو خو کارش جوره دیگه Why he would never be out of mourning Your Majesty would soon restrict the number of our wives We should become a Christian people. Ah, Ruled by one wife while she was alive and her slave still after she was dead. Called out the other who was a sort of court jester and glad to have a chance of ridiculing the man whose more refined wit was often appreciated above his own coarse jokes. We are glad that we have a chance to do it. We are glad that we have a chance to do it. We are glad that we have a chance to do it. We are glad that we have a chance to do it. We are glad that we have a chance to do it. We are glad that we have Silence! Thundered the Amir in the voice that all Afghanistan obeys. Silence! Every one of you! By what a pack of rogues am I not surrounded? Now you have proclaimed yourselves for what you really are. Insensibly, they slunk back and left the solitary figure leaning on his stick, standing alone in the middle of the room. Tamash Fararna, Tarvaria. Imum Nau, Chief Secretary Amir. You men, what do you know of faith and love and honor? Today you swear fealty to one master, tomorrow you sell yourselves, your oaths, your honor, your to another. Today you marry one wife and tell her God knows what of love, but tomorrow a feast is prepared and the house made ready for another. No wonder my country is a prey to robbers and murderers and thieves. Loyalty and fidelity are qualities that are not in you. The wild beasts would understand me, but not you. You are too low, sunk far beneath their level. As I want, Pastor, as Come here, my son, addressing his secretary. Come to me and be comforted. We are men, you and I. The others are hardly fit to be called wolves. The chief secretary crossed the room and knelt by his master's side, love and gratitude beaming from his great hazel eyes. You must not fret and make yourself ill, the emir went on. You must remember that we have need not only of your work, which never flags, but of your company. خیلی مفقد بخاطر کارت تر خوش داره تو کچه هستی تو We have missed you in the evenings of late The company has seemed dull and spiritless without you مسیر شام که میشنیم محفیل موشه اصلا جان نمانده تو نی دیگه For our sake You must console yourself خود خود جمکو And come to دربار and help us with our entertainments. You will make this effort to please us, will you not? He was gentle and sympathetic. As a woman, amidst the 
furry of a nature stronger and fiercer than most men's. The combination of the two. And there lies the charm that binds men to him in a storm of passion that seems unrestrainable, boundless. He will lay his hand soothingly on a wound or aching head or turn and comfort a little frightened child. The furrows on his thundery brow all smoothed out, the fire in his eyes subdued, his set jaw relaxed, a smile upon his lips. There comes a perfect outburst of sunshine through what had seemed but a moment before an impenetrable cloud. Shadrawan, and the spot on which the rays fell full is for the moment bathed in light and gladness. A pin, had it fallen, would not have done so unheard, so intense was the silence in that room, and each jeerer trembled lest his words should be remembered and brought home to him. Thus does this man rule his kingdom. Partly by fear, but also by a love which attracts and fascinates, almost awes. After this, the chief secretary adopted a new method of procedures. He never omitted his weekly visit to his wife's graves. But he was seldom at home. And often stayed in court till twelve or two in the morning. This on when the court His little girl, not much more than three years old, whom he had begun to teach in his spare hour just after his wife's death, missed him sadly and cried for her aga. Nobody's there. Another, a woman missed him. یک زن دیگه هم دو خانه بود که خیلی دلش تنگ مشد but said nothing she was only a slave what right had she to miss anyone but this state of affairs was not to last long exhausted nature had her way and before long the chief secretary was at death's door the dummy مرگ رسند دو پس خودره and because his skin was hot, his lips perched, and his head ached till it almost seemed as if it would burst. Such param The Hakims bled and starved him. Parez fast khunburku. Parez khunburku. Parez khunburku. Emidu tek nigiyat bara. Bara ilaj. Then he became unconscious, thought of Yushira Sanchir, and spoke wildly. The Yonagimakat, so he was bled again. Bas fast. The ordinary Hakim was only two potent remedies, and of these, bleeding is one. More often than not, the patients do not recover, but the chief secretary was devoutly nursed, he did recover. One faithful soul hardly left day or night. A sigh, and she was by him. Offering the iced milk, some refreshing sharbat, a cooling syrup, a moan of pain, and she would take his poor aching head in her great tender hands and press and soothe it till he slept. 
As he became conscious, she kept more and more in the background. You are the head of the house, she said to Sardaro, the children's nurse. A woman of the royal tribe, especially by the Amir, sent for this purpose. One day when her master was beginning to recover his wanted health, you must take Aga his food. It is not right that I should do so. Now he is better. That is your privilege. It was one of which the older woman showed herself in no wise anxious to avail herself. Afghan women are not at all keen on availing themselves of privileges when these entail services. It was hot and she was not actively inclined. But Gulbegum was firm. She feared she might be censured for being officious. She could not have borne that. You have put no ice in my water. The sick man growled a few days after the change had been made. You have forgotten the salt. He sighed another. He namagazi kujaya, digaruz, shikayat. On each occasion, the woman retired and supplied the missing articles without comment. But next day, there would be the same omission again. Pasan dayda me madu namag bubar barfay bubar bas subay ruz bazon mukar. Be chambras, or else the food would be cold, or the cloth on which it was laid soiled. Ya ko dastarhan prashaga, ya ko nani ya ka, ya ko nimagni ya, ya barfni ya. Amo de 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 da. Small, small. The importance of the small. Is there not a woman in all my establishment who can serve a meal properly? Yak zan pay dana mashada zikhana? He asked peevishly, every day there is something wrong. My house is like a river bed after a storm. Gulbegum is more accustomed to serve meals than I. The old woman said, and she is younger and more chambrastu and able. Shall I send her, Reikanam? Margi Reikanam, send anyone you know. Who knows their work? He said, I don't care who it is. So Gulbegum was reinstated in the high office of serving her master's meals. At last, worn and feeble, the invalid rose from his couch. Go help Aga to dress, Gulbegum said, addressing Sadaru again. That really is your business. I expect some of his clothes to need buttons and repairs of some sort. If you look them through, I'll do the sewing. Dressing her master was an even more difficult task than taking him his meals. Your hands are like calves, feet, Sardaro. He said, send Gulbegum here. And Gulbegum was sent.
As he grew better and better, he began to ask for his papers. He was able to do some work, though he was not able to go to Darbar, but he wanted to do some work. Go and see about Agha's papers. Sardar begged, I can neither read nor write. What good am I among papers? So that task too fell on Gulbegum. But she never presumed, never took the procedure that by rights went with the offices she performed. One service which she had taken upon herself from the first the girl offered to no one it was she ki roz awal amad onmu kara duty girta bud it was she who spread the master's prayer carpet jaina maza bar kado nisb shaw bidar kado bare buzu religious ablution and it was she who roused him for his prayers only sardaro kept the purse and ordered the provisions in from the bazaar Shirin was quite happy. She had no position, but then she had no special work. That was just what she liked. She was not much worse off than she had been at home. She was fed, clothed, housed, and but little noticed except when she told stories. She was an excellent recon tours, and she had plenty to tell to these other women who had poor souls all been born within some harem walls who had never enjoyed or have ever known the joys of freedom. Besides, there were all the incidents connected with the war to relate and the awful sights and scenes she had there witnessed formed endless themes to which the Afghan women are never tired of listening. Old Maryam, too, and her prophecies and their subsequent fulfillment were of boundless interest. Shirin sat with uh, her hands before her and told stories. While the others sued, which is Bakhyana, which is Kogna, or hushed the children to sleep, she could not both sue and talk, she said. And there was no one but her most ready listener. And most ready listener is Sardaro, who had the right to make her to do so. The Mir had long since carried off the third of the Hazara slaves to his home among the hills, quite certain in his own mind that all the trouble that had fallen on the chief secretary was due to his want of respect from so holy a man as himself and his evident desire to retract his promise. Or 
I just want to conclude the story here because it is finished and uh, we will uh, pick it up next time. But the, the story, the narration, the, the, the chanting that was performed in the beginning of this episode was uh, presented this morning by uh, one of our uh, eloquent storyteller, Malik. Um, and he offered his poetry, which we narrated for you. Uh, in conclusion, I thought we should all go with this in mind, that if we are not clear about the notion of who we are and what our position is and what we ought to do and we don't feel the same pain and we are all always offering different kind of solutions in the time of crisis without a uh, an understanding and the feeling of pain that the war and migration brings and has brought to a lot of people around the world and particularly close to home the Hazaras have been um, under onslaught, um, military, yes, culturally, yes, politically, yes, socially, yes, it's going on today, yes, crisis is there, yes. Why can't we understand? Why don't we learn? Because we forget very quickly. And also go, you understand what I'm talking about? We forget the stories of the Bakul, the sufferings of the Bakul, we have to pay back. And uh, with this, we leave you thinking that we are a nation lost in translation. Yanichi. Haikido.